So the question that we want to answer today is, in 2018, is a computer science degree worth the investment? And the answer is, it depends. Um, first of all, computer science is a very broad kind of academic area that encompasses a lot of different technologies these days. Uh, mobile technology, desktop technology, which is used more uh, in the business environment. Um, there's just, there's a lot going on in tech in general. And um, a computer science degree has kind of always been the traditional way to grow yourself as a technology professional and to kind of establish a career there but over the years really things have changed a lot a computer science degree in 2018 if you're starting in 2018 um, you'll be graduating in 2022 is not the same thing as getting a computer science degree when I did which is over a decade ago um, and then you can go even further back and it's not nearly uh, doesn't mean nearly as much as it did back in the 1980s and 1990s and the reason for that has been because uh, most of these jobs have been outsourced uh, there isn't really as much opportunity in computer science as there has been in the past um, in many aspects of the industry in many areas of the industry and that's because cheaper labor is found elsewhere that can do pretty much the same thing that you can with your computer science degree um, which is write software for companies and you know build uh, websites and things of that nature um, really something that a computer science degree is useful for is consultancy um, starting your own consultancy um, if you can do that side by side while you're in school and kind of use the projects you you've done in school to establish yourself and make a nice website that can attract local um, businesses and local people to call you up as their you know IT specialist then really you're putting you're using your education as a way to help establish um, kind of an individualistic future for yourself that's independent from what's going on in the corporate world. Um, a computer science degree is also useful in many other fields, in finance, and uh, a lot of these fields, are they don't discriminate against computer science graduates. So you as a computer science graduate would be able to um, work in a lot of different fields. Um, that being said, there's still um, the question that comes up uh, why you don't want why you studied computer science and then you decide to work in finance or something like that so you have to be prepared to answer a question like that um, honestly truthfully and um, in a way that's not going to be off-putting to any future employer um, the dynamics of you know the tech industry have changed tremendously and um, technology moves and progresses so fast these days that when you start your computer science degree by the time you finish it um, you know a lot of what you learn is become really obsolete or not necessary for you to know um, it's the degree is just kind of showing that you were stood it got in the back of the line and kind of uh, did it the way that everyone else does it tradition and that doesn't necessarily work anymore in the business world because in the business world it's more so now than it ever has been all about the bottom line and so you, you, what you need to learn in order to make any kind of degree successful especially a computer science degree is how to provide value for companies how to uh, help them impact their bottom line and how to make more money and when you do that then uh, you establish yourself as that you'd be in demand um, simply having the degree doesn't put you in demand for anything in fact there are a lot of people with computer science degree that work jobs at Burger King and something similar to that and they thought that you know their computer science degree would give them some sort of credibility 
when they applied for jobs out of school and it didn't and there's so many people with computer science degrees out there um, what happens in universities every few years is whenever a kind of field becomes in demand you always end up getting an abundance of people just flooding into those majors um, simply because they think that's where the jobs are only to find out you know by the time they graduate that it things have changed and the industry has changed and they're on to the new thing and um, people get left behind like that there's so there's so many things to take into consideration the one thing you can b count on is that an education and if it's a well-rounded education is something that nobody can ever take away from you um, once you have that degree that's it you have that degree and uh, it's with you for the rest of the life for your life it's not something that uh, can be revoked at any time or anything like that um, so it's there's also um, you know going to college kind of the social environment and and how you need that to kind of develop maturely into um, somebody who can work in a corporate environment without having um, a too much clashes with other people or something along those lines or not getting along with others kind of learning how to just stick your head between your tail between your legs and um, and just stay in line and college is kind of designed to weed out people like that um, in many ways it's whoever follows the instructions the closest is really who does best it's not always people that are thinking outside the box that are rewarded in an academic type of environment so now it's 2018 and if you're thinking about going to school for computer science you need to know that uh, it doesn't really matter if there's something that you want to pursue um, you can do that and still be a computer nerd and you know be, learn to program uh, on your own programming is not something that you need to learn in an academic environment most people that know how to program didn't learn it in an academic environment they learned it uh, on their own through books and things of that nature so um, if there's something that really interests you, you don't choose computer science because you think it's a safer bet than any other type of degree um, when you graduate college you should be an individual with very um, unique circumstances and unique experiences that helps you provide value to a company that they can't find somewhere else and once you realize that and you work on that individuality and you you um you establish yourself then you're free to grow in the industry but um just getting a degree for the sake of a computer science degree is going to be make me more money or something like that you couldn't be more wrong um it all comes down to you personally and uh maybe the computer science degree is a great idea for you if um it's gonna help you get to where you want to go but it's not gonna get you anywhere on its own and that's what you need to really take into consideration so if there's something you like to study better that interests you more um, feel free to do it and take some computer science courses on the side don't take computer science for the sake of having a computer science degree um, because if one push comes to shove it's not that much different than having a humanities um, degree it really isn't uh, yes you can work in technical aspects and it kind of establishes the fact that you are tech savvy and you you know a lot about computing and about programming but what it doesn't establish is a, a track record of proven success um, and that's not something you get in school because uh, in the business world you need to establish that um, based on your clients and your projects and things of that nature and you need to really showcase that it's not like school where there's a report card for it